mặt tâm Wow, good job Tuck and roll. <laughs> what do you think? Trying to detox me or what? <laughs> Starting today off with some green juice. Today is the day after my birthday, and yesterday we ate a lot of good food. But last night before bed, we ate cake and ice cream. And this morning I was feeling like I just needed a little bit of life in me. <laughs> And not, I wasn't feeling like a heavy like latte or something like that. So I'm starting off with a green juice. It's delicious. It's actually pretty good. It's not bad. It's a little celery. -y. Did you put lemon in it? Yeah. Celery. Oh. Hey Jack, do you like green juice? <laughs> you want to snap the green juice? Yeah. Ooh, he's like, get that away. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, thank you. He's like, mousy? Yes. No? Speaking of detox, I don't really believe in the whole detox thing after you eat a bunch of junk food and you drink your green juice and you detox from that. That's not what I'm trying to say here. That's not what I'm trying to well, do yes. here. I know, but I just wanted uh, to reiterate that because you said, are you trying to detox me? And I'm not. That we just you said flush things out. it does help you like kind of like flush things out. But does it, it doesn't totally detox everything you ate from the day before. No, so don't think that. Don't do that. It just helps move things along. And we have a bunch of celery in the fridge and cucumbers because celery, organic celery, was on sale for a dollar ninety nine. That is unheard of. So we bought like a bunch, and I needed to use them. So. It just worked out perfect, you know? Divine timing. Also, my birthday yesterday was really amazing. I just wanna say a huge thank you for all of the birthday love, kind messages and comments you guys were sending me. It really, really made me feel special yesterday. Um, Kyle actually vlogged my birthday yesterday, so that video should probably already be up, eh? Where are you? Whoa. Where are you? Hopefully, I'm up here. Oh. <laughs> Um, when's this video getting up? Sunday. So mine should probably be up tomorrow, so yeah, it should be up. Alright. So, my vlog, my vlog. So, Kyle's vlog from my birthday should be up. We had a really just chill, kind of fun day. Um, and I'm going to be doing all of my other celebrating with friends and family next weekend. So we just kind of hung out, the two of us. And... We went to the greenhouse, of course. I needed to go to the greenhouse on my birthday. And we got um, some new pots. I got three pots like this, one large one, a medium one, and a small one. And I repotted this elephant ear, finally. She really needed a new home. She was in this basket, and hey, that's the new plant that I got for my birthday. Look how freaking beautiful it is. So colorful. I don't, all my plants are like green and tropical and just green. So I, I spiced really it up. Plant, though, I know, I don't really know where to put it, but I'm putting it by the window right now just because I just brought it home and it needs some good light. So I'm just gonna <laughs> go right up to the window. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a croton plant. Croton. I think that's how you say it. See, that's what I said in my story and everyone thought it was hilarious yesterday. <laughs> I was like, it's like croutons, but not. And even my friends messaged me and they were like, oh my God, Maddie, you're so funny. And I was like, no, it, it literally looks like the word croutons, but it's not. Anyways, um, yeah, we repotted this girl. Hopefully she's gonna do a lot better because she was dropping some leaves. So that was fun. And yeah, that was my birthday. I'm 24. 24. I feel old, but I know that I'm not old. I'm still young. I still feel like I'm like 17, so that's a good thing, right? So breakfast this morning is gonna be pretty predictable. I'm having some oats, and this morning I'm gonna be lazy, and I'm just going to microwave them. So I have 
Just some quick cook oats. I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of maple syrup, some water, mix it in this bowl, throw it in the microwave. Real quick and easy. So I'm just putting on some chopped almonds, some dried cranberries, and some sesame seeds on top of my oats. And then I'm also going to add some soy milk and some maple syrup. I don't have any ripe fruit. Well, I had apples, but I used them in my juice. And I only have underripe or overripe bananas, I guess you can kind of see them over there. And so I don't have any bananas. So just some nuts and seeds on top of the oats today, and some dried cranberries. I love dried cranberries. Put a maple syrup, just a little bit. And gotta add the milk on top. Yum. And I'm also going to add a few drops of this. I don't think, can you see that? I think so. I don't think that I have mentioned it on this channel yet, but Vivo Life came out with a plant-based omega-3 supplement. It's an algae-based supplement, and it has 300 milligrams of EPA and 600 milligrams of DHA. And I've been using this ever since it's come out, and it's amazing it has a slight lemon flavor but honestly it's pretty tasteless if you put it like on top of food like i'm going to today just a couple drops like so and a lot of the times i just uh pop it straight in my mouth because it doesn't taste that bad at all but um vivo is also coming out with a b12 and a d3 with a k2 all liquid supplements like this. Super, super exciting. Um, if you guys wanna check it out, read more information on it, I'll leave a link in the description. And as always, you guys can always use my code. New customers only will get a discount using the code MADDY10. That is breakfast. Literally took me like three minutes to make. How's that for a quick and easy? plant-based breakfast, am I right? I am about to go do a little workout of my own upstairs. I'm in my workout gear, as you can see, but I thought that I would start prepping a bit of lunch and get it in the oven while I'm working out so that lunch is pretty much ready by the time I'm done. So let me show you what I'm gonna make for lunch. This is super easy and simple, but I posted a photo of this on my Instagram and a lot of you guys wanted the recipe for it, so I'm gonna show you how I made it. Basically, all you need is some sweet potato, some bell pepper, and an onion. You only need one sweet potato for this recipe, but I'm going to cook up some extra sweet potato just so that we have some in the fridge. And then I'm going to do half yellow bell pepper and a half of a red bell pepper. So you only need one bell pepper and then just a little tiny onion. And then I'm also going to add some chickpeas. I'm not going to add all of this because it was one of those big cans. Let me see. Um, how big is this? I don't know, it's this size. It's not like a regular size can of chickpeas and I'm gonna save some of the chickpeas and I'm gonna use them uh, later. I don't know when, but I'm gonna save them for later. This is a 540 milliliter can and I'm probably gonna use like three quarters to half the amount of chickpeas. Okay, so everything is chopped up into roughly the same size pieces. I am going to add in some spices and a little bit of olive oil. 
Oil is completely optional, you don't need to add it in, but I like to add just a little touch because it keeps everything nice and moist and prevents the sweet potatoes from like drying out. Also, I do want to mention I added more sweet potato to this pan than just the one sweet potato, so probably a sweet potato and a half. If you have a very large sweet potato, just use that, but just eyeball it. It really doesn't make that much of a difference. This also helps the chickpeas from not getting just like obliterated in the oven. <laughs> and then I'm gonna add some salt, some pepper. I'm just like eyeballing it here. And then probably about a half of a teaspoon to a full teaspoon, depending on how much garlic you like, of garlic powder. And then I also did just a little sprinkling of oregano, just for that herby flavor. And then you get your hands messy and you mix it all together so that the oil and the spices are just evenly distributed on the vegetables and chickpeas. And my oven is at 425. And they're gonna go in the oven for 20 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes. And I'm going to flip it halfway. And then I'm going to up the temperature to 500 just to get it nice and crispy for probably another like 15 or so minutes. And while those are in the oven, I am going to make the tofu because I make tofu with this recipe as well. So I'm going to make the marinade for the tofu and I'm going to let the tofu marinate while the veggies are cooking in the oven. So let me show you what goes in this marinade. Okay, so first of all, I'm using a whole block of extra firm tofu and I've pressed the water out of this and then cut them into widow triangles. And then for the marinade, we are going to use some tamari or soy sauce. And since I'm doing a whole block of tofu, I'm gonna do five tablespoons of tamari. I'm going to use some maple syrup. I'm going to do two tablespoons of that. Then I'm using some garlic powder, about a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then this is optional, but I'm adding in some Frank's red hot sauce. You could also use sriracha or chili garlic sauce, whatever you've got in your fridge. And I'm just going to add in about a teaspoon, but you can add in as much as you like, depending on how much spice you like. I should have done this in a bigger dish. Oh well. Get those tofu pieces in there. This tofu is really dry. It's like Tetris. Tofu is marinating. Veggies are in the oven. I am going to leave Mr. over there in charge and I'm gonna go work out. Don't burn my veggies, okay, Bobby? How we looking? How we looking? A little bit too toasty. I think they were in maybe five minutes too long. These guys definitely got a little bit too toasty, but that's okay. That's okay. I also forgot to mention that you're also going to need some kale. I don't have that much kale left. All I have is about a handful and that's it. Um, you can use between two and three stalks of kale and all I did, you can do this differently if you don't think that it's going to suit you but i just uh ripped it off the stem and then massaged the kale a little bit and then 
the last like five minutes or last like three minutes of baking in the oven at 500 i just mixed the kale in with the veggies on the tray and then just let it cook and that's it so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to throw them in at a lower temperature because i forgot to put the kale in while i was working out clearly and get the kale nice and toasty and then that's lunch Um, the dressing that I put on this is just a tahini miso dressing that I had. Um, it's the one that I used in my last video. But if you guys want to make a quick little tahini dressing at home, all you need is some tahini, uh, maple syrup, you can use lemon juice if you want, um, and then you could also add in a little bit of hot sauce if you want it to be a little bit spicy. Um, and then you also need some warm water to kind of thin it out. But just add the tahini, maple syrup, lemon juice, and hot sauce if you're using it, and mix that into a bowl until you get it to your liking. Use a little bit of lemon juice to start off with, and then you can add more if you want. And then start adding your warm water and mix it until you get the right consistency. But the amount of water that you're going to need is going to depend on how thick or thin your tahini is. But yes, super quick and delicious, simple, very simple lunch. Um, but it's a really great meal that you could just kind of throw together and then keep in the fridge. You could make double batch so that you have some on hand and then you can heat it up for quick and easy lunches or dinners or even have this for breakfast. It's just a really great little whole food meal. Hey dog. Hey dog. Hey dog. <laughs> what are you doing? It's dinner time. It's dinner time? Dinner. Dinner. So we decided we're gonna have burritos, but I was like, I want a tasty burrito and I have quinoa being made and I didn't want just like plain quinoa and black beans and salsa because you know that's just like plain. I wanted to spice it up and I remembered that I have this. Is that in focus? It's taco seasoning. <laughs> and so I am going to make quinoa. I'm basically just like winging this. I've never made this before ever clearly. Um, so I have quinoa that's like pretty much done cooking and I made it with a little bit of like a veggie stock cube so it has a little bit of like flavor and then and then I have walnuts and I thought like toasted walnuts would be like a nice little like crunchy little aspect to it and I see people like with like taco stuff they do like walnut and quinoa and lentils. I don't have lentils, but I'm gonna have walnuts. And then I have the rest of the red bell pepper for my lunch, and then a little bit of garlic, and I would add onion, but our last onion was really soft and mushy and bad, so yeah. don't have onion. And chips. Oh yeah, we've been kind of snacking. But I- Just turn off the wet light. I can't see what I'm doing now. I know, but our skin tone's look better. We've been snacking on chips. Snack. Mm. Wow. Whew. Okay, so I'm just using a little bit of oil just to coat the pan so I can toast up these walnuts. Oil is good for the skin. Look at me using oil. <laughs> you learned Padawan. Fist bump. <laughs> a lot of people <laughs> in the comments. Uh, a lot of people in the comments on my last video, because what I think you used oil in the yeah. tofu scramble, they were like, what made you want to start using oil again? And I just have decided not to be super strict about oil anymore, because we started using it, and I don't see any difference in my skin, I don't feel any difference in my performance, and we really don't use that much of it. Like, for how much I'm going to make, that's like a teaspoon. I'm just not as super strict about it. I just and it helps to keep on more weight because if you're so low fat all the time, it's yeah. 
harder to keep And on. I've been trying to gain weight, so adding oil has been helpful. But if you're trying to lose weight, then I wouldn't recommend using oil. Stick to the whole no oil thing. My whole cookbook is completely oil free and it's super easy to not cook with oil. But adding a little bit of oil here and there helps with flavor. Yeah, yeah. it helps with flavor. Sweet dude, what you got there, bro? Greens. <laughs> okay, we got greens. This is our quinoa meat. It's a little wet because I feel like it's probably better if you bake it so that it's not as wet, but like I don't care because it took me like five minutes to make and it's tasty. So we're gonna roll with it tonight. Put your beans in there. Oh yeah, shoot. I should have put the beans on and then put that stick it. Black beans? That's good. Holy crap. That's a, lot, that's a lot of black beans. Let's put them back. A little bit of red pepper. Add some crunch. Capsicum. Cap capsicum. Wee bit of salsa. Just pop it pop it on there. Yeah, just a little just bit. Just a wee bit? Yeah, I got really? lots of spice from the quinoa. Vegan cheese? Ugh, no. Hell yeah. I only like that stuff melted <laughs> on the pizza. Don't melt in the burrito. No. I'm putting vegan cheese in mine, man. Go right ahead. I am. Stop zooming in on my face. <laughs> People do not need to be that up close and personal. You look great. With my face. That's it. Oh gosh, that avocado is sad. Yeah. No, it made me. me very sad when I opened it. So should I wrap it like this? Like a blanket, like woo. Sure. And tuck it and roll. Tuck and roll. That cheese stanks. Ugh. Wrap it up. <laughs> Ew. Mmm. Some crunchy was in there. Oh, it's, it's the walnuts. walnuts. I don't like the walnuts. I'm not there. a fan. I don't know why you put walnuts in it. Well, I just thought, you know, branch out, try something new. But, it's getting oh, better. Oh, no. It's pretty good. Yeah. Ain't the best thing that I've eaten, but it ain't the worst. <laughs> that cheese smells so bad. <laughs> it literally smells like... Real cheese? No, like worse. Have you shown them what cheese it is? Yeah, maybe I should show them because everyone's gonna be like, what cheese is it? It melts really well on pizza. Cheese. This is the cheese. Oh, hi. <laughs> the birthday celebration continues because <laughs> we still have ice cream in the freezer. And if I don't eat it now, then he's gonna eat it and I'm not gonna be able to eat it. So, gotta <laughs> eat it. It's a coconut bliss ice cream bar. Oh yeah, baby. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. We are watching The Lion King. We rented it off of YouTube. I haven't the seen new it one. yet. I'm excited. I love The Lion King, so I'm excited to watch it. Me too, I haven't seen it since I was like five. We're gonna enjoy our ice creams and watch a movie. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Peace out. <laughs> you said I was a piece of art. You decided to paint my heart. But you colored it.